Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. So the message I have today came from this movie I was watching, okay? The movie is called, I believe it's Citation, and it is on Netflix. I believe it is a Nollywood movie. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, okay? I do know for sure it is from the continent of Africa. Okay, with that being said... This movie um, is about, well, the part that, that stands out, okay, I, I can't give y'all the whole movie, but the part that God was speaking to me with is the beginning of the movie where this young woman is in college. Um, she is trying her best to pass all of her classes, and her teacher gave her an F on an exam, making her fail the course. And she's trying to bargain with him and ask him what she did wrong and why it was an F, you know, like, and he's basically giving her no excuse. And he tells her, well, if you don't want to retake the course, you'll have to meet with me at a hotel. So she gets the hotel room and he goes to the hotel room. He's waiting on her there with his clothes off. She comes in a room with uh, like three guys, three big slow guys, okay, that are also college students with her. They record him and they carry him out the room. As they are carrying him down the stairs, he stops them and he's like, wait, 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 don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I, 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 what did he say? He said, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I go to church every Sunday. They were like, oh, really? Oh, okay, you're a Christian. Oh, you're a Okay, no, let's you. And I just feel like God is saying, there is somebody, there is somebody, 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 somebody. They got caught in the midst of their sin. And they want to holler about how they are a Christian and how they love God. And, you know, God is like, if you love me so much, why are you doing this? Let's get the scripture. Okay, the scripture comes from Daniel 11 and 21. There shall rise in his place a despicable person to whom the royal and sigma shall not be given. By stealth and fraud, he shall seize the kingdom. Armed might shall be completely overwhelmed by him and crushed and even the prince of the covenant. After allying with him, he shall treacherously rise to power with a small party. By stealth, he shall enter prosperous provinces and do that which his fathers and grandfathers never did. He shall distribute spoil, booty, and riches among them and devise plots against their strongholds. But only for a time, he shall call on his strength and cleverness to meet the king of the south with a great army. The king of the south shall prepare for battle with a very large and strong army, but he shall not succeed because of the plots devised against him. Even his table companions shall seek to destroy him. His army shall be overwhelmed and many shall fall slain. The two kings resolved on evil shall sit at a table together exchanging lies. But they shall have no success because the appointed end is not yet. Okay, so here's the message. God is saying that there is a person that is doing evil. They are 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 doing evil. This person is doing pure evil. And whenever you say, uh, you're not supposed to do that. They say, well, you know, it's okay because of this and that. And I just feel like this is somebody that has very elaborate excuses as to why it is okay. And they have figured out, they have a map and they got a chart and they got several scriptures that they picked from different places. You know, they skipped over all the ones that tell them what they're doing is wrong. They skipped over those. But they got the ones that they feel and they have twisted the words around. And, you know, they mixed it up. And they, they just found a way to say, well, fornication is okay if you put it like this. And, and you know, you, you stand back and you look at their chart and you look at all their graphs and you look at all the little evidence that they put together and you're like, no, 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 that's not right. That is not right. That is not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. But this person is claiming, no, look, 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 I got to be okay with it. <laughs> I hear God say, leave them. Leave them to their foolery. Leave them to their own nonsense. And a lot, let, let God handle it. God says he will handle it. He will handle it at the appointed time. At the appointed time. And this is a situation where God is just allowing somebody to just, you know, you know how, um, 
They just fill up like 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 at the water parks when the little thing they have the big bucket over the uh of the little water area where the kids play at and it just fill up and it fill up and it fill up and then it dunks over your head. God said he just let it fill up and let it fill up. Every time they do something, he write it down. And at the appointed time, he going to smite them. And I just feel like um, that's the message. And this is not only so like this, like I'm, I'm going to explain this also, because this is not in an attempt that God is just like trying to get them in, in such a like to like they are the water is all the way up to their neck and he gonna then then he'll finally be like okay now i got you no this is not that kind it's not the kind of uh situation where god is the detective that is just watching the d-boy and just adding on to their file until they got enough to go ahead and send them straight to the feds okay this is not that kind of situation god said he's really trying to give this person an opportunity to change he is trying to give this person an opportunity to change. However, if they refuse to change, and that's that, and that's like literally what it is. God says, if this person refuses to change, they will see him. They will deal with him. And that's the message. Like, I just feel like for whoever this is for, don't pay them. Don't buy. God said, don't argue with them. Don't go back and forth with them. Because, you know, when two fool, when it, when a fool, when you argue with a fool, um, a lot of times people on looking, can, they get confused. They don't know who the real fool is. So God said, don't argue with them. Let them talk. Let them talk until they blue in the face, until they pale in the face. That's fine. Let them go off. Like let let them go off. Let them go off. Let them go off. Let them go off. Just like the men was that they were like, oh really? Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. And that's just how God is. It was like, oh, I feel like God is like, oh, oh, that's how you put that together. Yeah, that's how you put that together. Like God is like, oh, okay, oh, that's how you put that together. That's not right. Okay, it's not right at all. Just like in this movie, it's uh, the professor trying to force a student to sleep with him so that she can pass her class. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. And I'm going to also add that God says, stay out of this. And um, uh, the next part of the movie, the students actually got in trouble because instead of them um telling the school what was going on, they put it, they tried to handle it themselves. God said, don't handle this yourself. Don't handle this yourself. No, 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 no. God got this. God has it. His way may not happen as instantly as your, what you want to happen. It may not happen instantly, you know, because in reality, um, I believe that the man, they were chasing him. And even though they stopped chasing him, he ran out into the street and he got hit by a car. And I just feel like God is saying that he don't want you to have no blood on your hands. He don't want you to be in a position to where something is your fault. And, you know, in a lot, I just feel like this is a situation where God sees you as David and he wants your hands clean. And, you know, um, in this, in this matter, he wants your hands clean in this matter. Okay. He wants you clean in this matter. I might, I might just say more so Solomon than David because David, David, David did some things, but God did want David's hands clean when it came to Saul coming down. And I just feel like God is saying, uh, with whoever this is, um, whoever this is for, God is saying he does not want you to involve yourself. This person is not, it's a, an appointed time for this to happen. And I will also add that sometimes when God is handling with somebody, I'm going to say in my own personal experience, when I, God has told me that he will deal with people regardless to if it was when I was young and it was, I, I, I had no idea what, who, like, you know, I was just like, okay, all right, you, okay. Like, you know, and, and when I was young, I wasn't exactly who I am today. And, you know, I was still living my life the, the way I live my life. And I, I'm, but God will be, tell me what's been my, I'm telling you now, I'm finna handle this person. I'm finna handle this person. I'll be like, okay, go. Oh. Sometimes it will be instant. Bam, right there. And a lot of times, if it's a situation where somebody is trying to, um, harm you or you are directly in harm's way yes god will take them down immediately that second and it may shock you and there are times where god will remove you from the situation and then god himself will deal with them in his own time and i'm being reminded of you know um me and my husband went over the store of Tamar, okay and you know we both realized there are two separate Tamars in the bible but uh he was the one he had in mind was the one, uh, the Tamar from Genesis. And 
Um, the Tamar that I know of is the Tamar from um, I believe it's Second Kings. Second Kings or Samuel. Don't judge me. I think it's I think it's uh, okay, but we, <laughs> let's talk about the two Tamars. Okay, but anywho, after um her brother did what he did to her, it was two years before her other brother um handled that. And I just feel like God is saying that sometimes it takes a minute. Sometimes it is not instant. And this is why when things happen to us and when things happen, you have to give it to God. Because if you don't and you are sitting there looking out your window, waiting on something bad to happen to somebody, you may drive yourself mad. OK, and God was just sit there and watch you. OK, just like Jonah sat there outside the city and, and, and got upset and he stumped and he fell out on the floor and he was mad. But in reality, the people in the city repented. So what Jonah thought he was going to see, he ain't see. And I just feel like God is saying for somebody you cannot like in reality, as Christians, our hearts should be in a place where we would actually prefer for somebody to repent and turn their life around than for somebody to end up in hell, okay? And I just feel like God is saying you have to have that kind of mindset for situations like this because this is a situation where somebody, you are like, um, you may be very stressed out about this. God said, I feel like this is somebody, either God has removed you or God is removing you. And you are not going to like, you're not going to have to deal with this. This is something that you don't directly have to deal with. If you need to block them on social media, you don't have to check up on them. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. There is a, there, there's, there are buttons that you can press to get rid of people that, that, that will take people completely or wipe them completely off of your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is that you got going on. You don't want to see them. You don't have to. I promise you don't. I promise you don't. If you bold, you could just delete the whole app. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like God is like, don't, be, don't pay them people no mind. If they repent, wonderful glory okay if they don't repent no that god got that i just feel like god is saying regardless he got that he's handling that okay it's an appointed time for everything it is a time for everything and right now your time is not to it is not time for you to be worried and concerned with what god is doing with this person let that go give it to god and i just feel like whoever this is for god is going to bless you regardless God is going to bless you regardless. And, you know, just let them carry on. Like, they they are digging a hole for themselves, okay? they they they, they that, That's them. Let them handle it. Let them deal with that. And that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, because it, it still says he shall turn back toward his land with great riches, his mindset against the Holy Covenant. He shall arrange matters and return to his land. At a time appointed, he shall come again to the south, but this time it shall not be as before. When ships of Kittim confront him, he shall lose heart and retreat. Then he shall direct his rage and energy against the Holy Covenant. Those who forsake it, he shall once more single out. Armed forces shall move at his um his command. I just, I, I feel like God is saying that this is going to be, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. Whatever is going on, whatever God is doing with whoever this person is, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. And God saw what they did to you, okay? Yes, God saw what they did to you. He saw it. He was there. He saw it. He was there. He saw it. He was there. This does not mean that they will not receive judgment for what they did because even when David repented immediately after um what he did to uh Uriah, after what he did to Uriah, he repented immediately and God told the prophet he can repent all he wants to. I'm still punishing him. So um, even if this person repents, they are still going to receive a punishment from God. However, you don't need to be focused on what kind of punishment they receive. And I, I just feel like that's the message. God is saying you don't need to be focused on what kind of punishment they were. They're going to receive the punishment regardless. But you don't need to be focused on that. Focus on yourself. I just feel like God is saying focus on building yourself up, getting yourself to, like, you know, like get yourself together. And, and don't worry about this person. 
you know, it, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's the message, you know, and I'm sorry if it's not as wonderful it's not butterflies, but that's what the message is. God is saying he will deal with it. It's okay. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.